Hi, I'm Lauren Breikitzer. I'm here to show you some advanced follow actions that you can use to create cool chopped up beats in Ableton Live 11. So what you're ultimately gonna wind up hearing is something that sounds like this. And I'll show you how to do that here in the next seven minutes. If you saw my previous video, I had follow action. So it would go from one clip to the next clip to the next clip, or even randomly jumping from clip to clip, playing one bar, the first bar of each clip. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a crazy chopped up beat, and I'm going to use those same clips, but I'm going to use follow actions and a couple other functions here. So what I'm going to do is first thing I do is select all these and turn on the follow actions in the clip window here. And so I can turn off this link button. So it's going to go from one bar, from one to the next, to the next, to the next, with this next selected here. I can go down and set other, and that's going to randomly choose any other clip that's stacked there. And it's just going to give me one bar, the first bar of each clip. Again, it's going to sound like this. So that's just playing the first bar of each clip. Now what happens, let me stop these first. I'm gonna select them all again, is I'm now going to, rather than go with one quarter note, I'm gonna drop it down to a half note. I'm just gonna drag it down. So this, this window box here, you have uh, bars, beats, and 16th notes. So you, if you wanna do a half note, you can drag it down and do a half, um, an eighth note, you know, a quarter note, and, and so forth, the half note there. So I'm gonna set up so it just does, uh, let's do one quarter, let's do a half note. So it's gonna randomly select another and do a half note. Actually, let me go, go back down to a quarter note. So since it's gonna be playing the first actual beat of each clip in, in subsequently, so it's gonna do a beat one of the first clip, beat two of the second selected clip, beat three of the third selected clip, or beat one of the third. So I got beat one, beat one, beat one in time. So it's gonna be pretty kick heavy since most of these clips start with a kick drum. So it's gonna sound something like this. Now, most of the time you don't want it to be that kick heavy. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna change my settings here. So I'm gonna turn on legato. And what Legato does is it actually plays back the appropriate beat number of that clip. So it's gonna play the first beat of the first clip and the second beat of the next selected clip and the third beat of the next chosen clip and the fourth beat of the fourth chosen clip rather than the first beat, first beat, first beat. So now it's going to randomly but play, randomly cycle through, but play the appropriate beat location of each clip. So now let's hear how that sounds. That sounds pretty fun. I'm gonna select them all again. And rather than being a quarter note, let's drop it down to an eighth note. Hear how that sounds. So that has a really cool chopped up sound to it. Let me add, do the similar kind of thing with these hi-hats, these, these per, this percussion track over here. So I'm gonna stop these clips. So again, I'm gonna select these three clips together. I'm gonna turn on the follow actions, turn off the linked button, and maybe I wanna do half a bar. So I'm gonna set to two quarter notes and make sure legato is turned on and then drop it down and select other. So in doing that, it'll sound like this. All right, let's hear all of those together. So one side is doing eighth notes and the other side is doing half notes. Let's hear how that sounds. So that sounds really fun. Now, another thing that you can do, let me stop these clips real quick, is you can record them in the arrangement view this way. So um, again, I have a, a cleared out arrangement view. If I click this record button here, it's gonna be a two bar count off. And then I can just launch you know, this first scene It's gonna randomly cycle through all those. 
and I can just record it and it'll record that in real time in the arrangement view. Launching. So there we have, let me hit the back to arrangement button. And so here we have a nice uh, psychedelic arrangement of slices of those different clips. Now, the fun thing about the, the cool thing about this is you, if you have a, a particular chunk that you like, you can actually, uh, maybe I like this chunk here. Maybe I like this bar nine. So what I can do is I can actually, you know, delete all the stuff before and after. Zooming out, delete, all that stuff. And I can just take that selection and I can actually, since it's an audio clip, now this doesn't work as well with MIDI clips, as I can go and go to edit and go down to consolidate or command J on a Mac. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna rewrite that as a clip. It's gonna do the same thing here. Select those and go to edit and consolidate, command J. And it's gonna rewrite that as a new clip. So what I can do is I can take this, hit hit, grab it, hit tab, drop it onto uh, this track here. And let's just make a different color since it's something new. And do the same thing over here with a percussion. Hit tab, make that a different color. So now all I need to do is just tell it to loop by clicking here. And I can tell this one to loop by clicking here. And now I can launch those two clips here. So you can sort of take your favorite chunks and create a brand new clip by rewriting that with the consolidate command. That's it for these advanced follow actions. I'll have more techniques here in the future. Thanks for watching.